What's going on guys, Alger Estacio here with flightpath.com and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to engage and use the quick shot modes on the DJI Mavic Air. So if you guys follow my channel, I've actually done a video similar to this one with the DJI Mavic Pro, but the DJI Mavic Air also came out with a couple of new features. So I just want to quickly go through with you how to do the other ones, which are pretty standard, which DJI has had now for a little while, which is the drony and a rocket mode. But there's also a couple other ones on here like Helix as well as Asteroid that I'll go ahead and show you, show you how to engage it, show you what to do in the app and also what are the results I got from them. So in order for you to use quick shots for the Mavic Air, what you're gonna to wanna to do is launch the DJI Go 4 app. Once the app is open and once you are ready to go, as you can see here on the top bar, it says ready to go GPS. That means I have a solid GPS lock on my location. You're gonna to wanna to go on the left-hand side and there's gonna be a little remote icon on the left-hand side. Click on that remote icon and as you can see here down below, you'll see normal quick shot, active track, smart capture, tripod and cinematic mode. What we're gonna do here is go through some of the new quick shot modes for the DJI Mavic Air. So before being able to engage quick shot, you actually have to have your drone up in the air. So let's go ahead and take off now. So to engage quick shots, what you wanna do now is click on the remote control icon Click on Quick Shot, and it'll show you a sample of what a drony looks like. Hit OK. Click on the drony icon here at the bottom, and it'll give you uh, a reading of how far you want that drony to go. For this example, we'll just put it to 100 meters. Hit back. Now, when you do any of these quick shots, you always want to make sure it's tracking a subject or a person or a thing. So in this case, I'm going to be uh, that track. So what you wanna do is select a box and draw a box around that subject, which is myself. Once I draw that box, as you can see here, you wanna make sure and move around just a little bit to make sure that the Mavic Air is actually tracking you. So as you can see, it's, it is moving with me, it's tracking me. All you have to do now is hit go. A little countdown will happen and it'll automatically record. So you don't have to worry about hitting record when you do the quick shot or worry about it not recording when you do the quick shot. So there it is, it's gonna go back to 100 meters which we set. And once it reaches that 100 meter mark, once it reaches that 100 meter mark, it will then automatically stop recording and then fly back to where it started from. There you go, it just stopped. So it hit, hit that 100 meter mark and now it's on its way back. And just like that, it flies right back to where it started from. So this one is circle, which is very similar to point of interest. The difference with point of interest though, was that you would actually go right above a subject and record that point of interest. So it wasn't actually tracking a subject, it was just tracking a position. For circle, we are actually tracking a uh, subject. So what you wanna do is do the same thing, click OK, hit circle. And the difference with here is, however far away that subject is, so you wanna draw your box around that subject again, which is myself. However far away that subject is, is now that circle is gonna go around. So you wanna make sure that before you engage circle that you have enough space around you all the way around before you hit go because it is gonna take a large circle around the subject and if you're next to some tall trees, next to a building or anything like that, it will ram right into it because there are no side sensors. So you just wanna make sure, look around before you hit go that you do have enough area for it to do that 360 degree circle around that subject. Now, once you hit circle, you can actually choose your direction. Right now we have it at counterclockwise. I can switch it here to counterclockwise or clockwise. Uh, what I'll do is because there is a couple of trees here, I'm gonna go up a little higher and a little bit further just to make sure I have enough clearance for it all. My subject is still tracking me. Now I'm ready to go. I'm gonna hit go. And there it is. There it goes around me. and right back to where we started. 
The next shot we're gonna do is helix. Now this one's very similar to circle, but instead of it just staying in one area and going around, what it does is it actually goes in a circle and it rises a little bit. So we'll show you in that one, but very similar. What you have to do is of course track your subject or the subject matter that you want to have in target. And then you can choose your distance away for that helix to happen. So what we'll do is we'll start with helix, hit okay, click on helix. Now with distance and direction, the same thing, I can actually just determine how far away I want that helix to happen, as well as which direction. Do I wanna go clockwise or counterclockwise? What we'll do here is set it to about 70 meters away, hit back, make sure that I am tracked, so I'm not tracked yet, I wanna make sure I am. So I'm gonna draw a box around myself, move around just a little bit to make sure it's recording me, and once it's ready to go, hit go. And there it goes. So as it's going around in a circle, it's getting further away and just a little bit higher. Now rockets are really cool when you use, especially depending on the location, if you wanna get a nice dramatic rise over an area, maybe you're on a cliff or something like that with the water down below and the rocks. Really cool quick shot to use. So let me show you how to use rocket. Now what you wanna do is click on rocket. It'll do the same thing. It'll show you a little sample video. Click on rocket again. How high above that subject do I wanna get? We'll just put it at about 70 meters. Same thing, make sure you're tracking your subject. Draw a box around them, which is myself. Move around just a little bit. And when it's ready to go, hit go. Three, two, one. And it will now fly up and above the subject, which is me, and get a really cool top-down perspective. The next quick shot we'll do is boomerang. Same concept, what you wanna do is make sure we're tracking a subject, which is myself. I will draw a line around me, move around just a little bit, and we will hit go. Three, two, one. So what boomerang does is it actually whips around you at a little faster speed, then it slows down, then it continues that loop around you at a fast speed again. There you go, that was Boomerang. So the last one we have is Asteroid, which a lot of people call Little Planet. What it does is it kind of takes a droney back, goes up, it scans the area and makes it into a uh, kind of a 360 panoramic little mini planet and then it warps it back into a regular video once it comes back in. So let's take a look at that and see what it does. Same thing here, we're gonna track the subject which is myself. There you go, I'm gonna move around just a little bit. Hit go. Three, two, one. And there it goes. So it's gonna take in a way kind of a droney up and out and then once it gets to that top part, now it stops and what it's gonna do now is scan the area. And it'll automatically now stitch that area together to give you a full perspective of this area. Once it does that stitch, it'll then convert it within the software inside the app into what's known as like a little planet uh, or they're calling here asteroid shot for quick shots. There you go, little planet, asteroid is complete. So Quick Shots is a really good tool if you wanted to have some sort of automated 
uh, cinematic movements for your video. There are a few things, of course, that I really wish that DJI might have incorporated, and that is the ability to record before and after your uh, footage. So for instance, if you are already recording and you hit quick shots, it'll actually tell you to stop recording so that quick shots will do the auto record. If it's already recording, I kind of wish it would just continuously record. That way you can actually have a little bit of uh, pre-roll before it does that quick shot, as well as post-roll so that after when it's done, it doesn't just automatically stop because uh, sometimes you want that comeback. You want it where you want some video where it's flying back in. And with quick shots, it automatically stops it. And of course, the obvious one is really making sure that you're doing these and practice these first in an open area. I'm actually here at a fairly open area, no one around, and it makes it a lot easier for me just to try to understand these quick shots. A lot of times you might want to just get out there and start shooting, but you really want to know and understand the distance it flies up, how far it flies away, when it does the circle, how big of a circle it's actually doing. So make sure you do it a few times in an open area, an open park, where there's no one around, just so you understand exactly how the drone's maneuvering when you do some of these quick shots. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is that you always wanna make sure it is tracking a subject or tracking yourself. So make sure that you don't just take it up there and hit the button and go. Uh, it should automatically somewhat see a subject and you'll see a little green dot on there tracking something. But you just wanna make sure that you are selecting what you want it to track, whether it be a person, uh, or a car or anything like that, you wanna be able to manually draw that box around it, move it around a little bit like I did by just walking back and forth. You just wanna make sure it's tracking a subject before you let it go and fly away. The one thing I wish DJI actually put in the software is the ability to have it loop. So for instance, if I'm actually walking down this path right here and I wanted to do a circle or a helix, I would like for it to maybe just keep doing that as I'm walking. So it should automatically track me. It should be able to keep going and do multiples, not just one. Right now, all I'm seeing is that you're able to only do one loop. I'm not sure if there's a preference or something like that that I'm just completely missing. If there is, please let me know down in the comments below. But I didn't see anything besides the distance away and like clockwise and counterclockwise. It'd be really cool if I was able to just do it automatically, keep walking, and the drone would just keep tracking me and do circles or whatever quick shot I set on there. There it is, guys. Quick shot modes for the DJI Mavic Air. As always, if you guys got some value from my video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, all the products like these uh, tablet mounts and all that stuff will be down in the description down below. So if you're interested in looking at some of these products, feel free to check out those links. This is Aldrin Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.